Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will explain why you might want to add more edge loops to your sub D models than you think, and hopefully shine some light on the question of how many edge loops to use when modeling. Here we have a shape which has been triple edged, so it has support and edges, and if we go into smooth preview, you can see how it doesn't collapse. What you might notice though, if I go ahead and make a selection on this edge here, is that it's jumping quite far from its original placement. But what's the issue with this? Imagine this is a side view of our object. As we smooth and that edge jumps, if we had textures, it's likely we're gonna get this sort of stretching happening around our seams and edges, which is not desirable. So if we go ahead and add some more supporting edges, we can try to counter how much that supporting edge is moving. So now once we've done that, and if we smooth, you can see it's barely moving. If I just toggle it, hopefully you can see that. This works, but what you're probably going to want to do is something more like this. So if we add a few more edge loops running across our mesh, like so, just trying to make sure everything is a little bit more evenly in quads. You can see in this one, we get a similar result to our second attempt, as in the support and edges aren't moving, but this third attempt is producing much more even results and we don't really get long stretched out polygons, which aren't ideal for reasons such as sculpting, rigging. Right, so to explain this a little better, if we go ahead and make a duplicate of these and just move them to the side and just smooth them, Doing that should make it really clear to see the difference a few more edge loops make. We don't get any crazy edge sliding, and we also have more consistently square shaped quads. I mean, they're not perfect squares, but you can see that the low poly of this original mesh here is much closer to the final result compared to either of the other examples with super stretched out long polygons. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers, and check out my Patreon for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the discord, and I'll see you in the next video.